Hello everyone, myself Satish Chandra. Welcome back to my channel Techno Tips. In this video, we will discuss about the result set metadata, metadata in JDBC. In the previous video, I explained what do you mean by a metadata and also explained uh, the database metadata which is supported in the JDBC. In this video, we will uh, discuss about the second type of uh, the metadata which is supported in JDBC that is the result set metadata. The metadata means the data about the data uh, that is we can get the further information about a particular data by using the uh, metadata and in the result set metadata so we are we can get the additional information of a result set or ad additional information of a particular table which are retrieved from a uh, database to a Java uh, we can get it over by this result set metadata and if you have to get the metadata such as the table name what uh, the total number of columns which are present in the table or the total the the data type of the column names uh, those things are the uh, additional information about a particular table that you can get it over by the result set metadata interface uh, let's see the what are the different methods which are uh, can be used to uh, get those uh, metadata in your java application the first method that you can use is uh, public int get column count okay which is used to get the number of columns which are present in that particular result set or the particular table the second one is uh, public string get column name if you want to get the attribute name or the column name uh, of that particular table that for that you can use this get column name followed by uh, index okay normally that is the first column we start with an index one so second column with an index two and so on so if you want to get the column name of a first column then you can get the get column name of one that so that it returns the column name of this particular table next is get column type name um, which is used to get uh, the data type of that particular column and also it takes an argument as the uh, column index and the next one is uh, get table name if you want to get the table name of the particular table or the the index what you specified as an argument then you can use a get table name so these are the uh, different uh, methods which are supported in the result set metadata let's see a demonstration how we can use these how we can create an instance of uh, the database metadata and also use the different methods supported uh, in the result set metadata okay this is my access database named as db3 and it has a table called stud and which contains two row columns like roll number and a student name and first one is of type and here this is the uh, data source name created with the name student that and I want to use it now so I'll create a new Java class and I will give as results RS meta data RS meta data and also I will enable the public void main method okay so first I do is to import the necessary you know apis to my application so sorry import the java dot sql dot star and also import java dot io dot star so add some of the exceptions normally it rises throws class not found exception comma sql exception and IO exception okay next and to register to the driver class class dot for name and the driver name sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver and create an uh, connection object is equal to driver manager dot get connection so and you have to pass the connection string jdbc colon odbc colon the data source name is student so next i want to create a 
uh, yeah, there is a spelling mistake connection. Next, we create an object with a statement object stmt which is equal to connection dot create statement and I want to execute a select query by that I can get a result set. So, result set uh, s which is equal to stmt dot execute query and here I have to pass the query select star from faculty this is a table I used uh, yeah faculty or else I do like I will change the table ok the db3 I have a database and I have a table as stud I will use the same thing ok I am coming back and I will change to a student stud fine this table name is stud now the result set created now I want to create an object for the result set metadata result set metadata md which is equal to rs dot get metadata method you should use to create a object for the result set metadata now print the description so the metadata information of that particular table first I want to print the number of columns in that table no columns is equal to md dot get column count get column count is the method next gonna copy some yeah so next is uh, uh, the column name I want to print the column name of uh, the or else uh, yeah I will change the name of the first column or maybe the name of the first column in that table ok which is equal to like md dot get column name of the index 1 1 means the first column 2 means second column similarly I want to print the data type of the okay, data type of the first column which is a column which is equal to md dot get column type name I think you should use get column type name ok index is one I gonna pass ok so that is it I want to do in this program let us see the output go to run and run as java application so now you see the output number of columns is 2 name of the first column is roll number and the data type is integer Thank you for watching this video. If you really like this video, please uh, subscribe my channel and also uh, share to your friends. Thank you so much.